Hello everybody, I'm going to be reviewing The Zero Clue. So this is a novella by Rex Stout, uh, copyright 1953. It's starring his famous detective, Nero Wolf. So the original name was Scared to Death, terrible name. The Zero Clue is a much better name. It's far more accurate. And it was okay. I'm going to give it like a sideways thumbs up. The, the solution, not so great, but the rest of the story was good. The writing's good. Nero Wolf is just a really interesting figure. You know, people think of uh, famous detectives. They generally think of Sherlock Holmes. They generally think that famous detectives have something odd about them, which makes them interesting. Like, Sherlock has some weird personality quirks. I'm also thinking of uh, Lieutenant Columbo from the Columbo TV series. Um, you know, he's also got, like, odd quirks. And Rex Stout, to, I mean, Nero Wolf totally fits into this category. He, he's basically like this big overweight guy, and he's got a big thing about cooking, he's got a big thing about plants, and he never leaves his house. Which is the really interesting part, too. It's like he runs a mystery operation just, just from his, uh from his attic, really, his attic where he's taking care of his plants, is so weird and so interesting, too. Now, the narrator is his partner, Archie Goodwin. I understand he's, like, the narrator of all the um, Nero Wolf stuff. I've never heard of Nero Wolf before, but I like it. I really want to read more of uh, Nero Wolf because he's just a fascinating character, and the quality of the writing is just so interesting. Even when you're rereading the story, you know what's going to happen, and you know which parts aren't important. It's still interesting to read. I didn't like the, the narrator, Archie Goodwin. He's, um, I'm not going to say a sleaze ball, but he's kind of a sarcastic jerk, and it's clear he cares more about beautiful women than anything else. So I didn't like that too much. I was more interested in Nero Wolf, our, our main detective. So this story is about, um, like this mathematician, he's come across a formula, a really complex formula for predicting things, and he has like an 86% success rate so he basically went into the business as a probability wizard and people come to him with problems so uh, you know sometimes people are like hey buddy can you predict which horse is gonna win the race or hey can you predict when my uh aunt's gonna die i need to get my inheritance and uh one's a fashion editor she's like hey can you predict which fashions are going to be uh popular in in the future you know that sort of thing people come to him and pay him very well for for um, predictions and he's worried that one of his clients is a criminal and so he calls the the Nero Wolf people uh, Nero Wolf doesn't want to take the case but Archie Goodwin comes in anyway so he sort of explores the crime scene and then leaves because guess what the guy was killed like 10 minutes before Goodwin shows up what a coincidence huh so there are there are six people that showed up there that day and, and the story basically goes through all of them um, I, I mentioned three of them. Let's see. One's a lady um, who's being blackmailed. She wants to figure out who the blackmailer is. Uh, one's a lady. She wants to know who blew up a, a hospital. And then uh, one's a man. He's an inventor. He needs help with his invention. I think that's all six of the people. So the majority of the novella is basically talking to all these people in turn because Nero Wolf gets to question every single one of them, which is weird because Nero Wolf is the police prime suspect. And that brings me to this top important clue. So th this, this uh, fancy picture, hopefully you can see it, this picture of uh, pencils that was left on the culprit's desk. No, the victim's death. It was left on the victim's desk. So the victim's dying message is this with pencils. And, you know, it sort of looks like an NW. So the police say, oh, it's Nero Wolf. Yeah, that's, that's gotta be it, um, which is ridiculous. But even though he's the prime suspect, he gets to investigate everybody else and question all the other suspects. This is the part of the mystery I don't like. So take a look at this here. This is your big clue. Do you know what that means? So it's an ancient writing system from India over 2,000 years ago. It's a match matchstick script for numbers. So that number is 302. And that's the number of people who died in the hospital explosion. So the culprit is whoever blew up the hospital. Uh, the culprit stands up and confesses they did it. So I feel like that's an unfair mystery solution. It's just too obscure to expect readers to be able to know this ancient writing system. Also, it hasn't aged well because the zero clue 
is uh, that eraser. This is a zero. So apparently in that particular writing system, a period equals a zero. And Nero got that confused because everybody knows when you're doing math, a period equals multiplication. And that's not true anymore. So uh, the author probably couldn't have predicted the advent of computers, but... That's not even kind of true. Nobody uses a lowered period for multiplication. Sometimes you'll see like a raised period or a raised dot. That's kind of rare though. Generally, you see the X to signify multiplication or you see an asterisk to signify multiplication. That's how we signify multiplication these days. We don't use a lowered period. And so um, Wolf was confused because he thought that the period was in fact a multiply sign when it was a zero. It was a zero. So that was the big plot twist. And yeah, I mean, I, I did not like that. So I didn't like the solution, but I like the rest of the story and Neuro Wolf interests me as a detective. So like I said, uh, I'm giving it a sideways thumbs up. Not a thumbs up, not a thumbs down, just somewhere in between. I'd probably give it like a five or a six out of 10, somewhere around those lines.